Canadian families have been waiting 24 years for the federal government to meet its commitment on child poverty in Canada. In 2013, child poverty rates are higher than in 1989 when the House of Commons passed a unanimous decision to eliminate poverty among Canadian children by the year 2000. It is time for the federal government to step up. Like our expectations have lowered so much that it doesn't surprise you. <laughs> but it used to not be the case. I think, um, to be fair, there's some things happening, but nowhere mm -hmm. near what needs to happen to help parents be able to lift their families out of poverty. In British Columbia, children account for almost 30% of all food bank users. Um, the two Two of the fastest growing groups of people that use food banks in rural Ontario are people whose main source of income is either a student loan, so a university graduate probably, mm -hmm. or a pension. Canada is the wealthiest province, yet it has the highest level of income inequality. The price of housing and food, they just keep going up and then the mm -hmm. like, wages don't go up with it. Minimum wage in Ontario has been frozen for three years and failed to keep up with the inflation. Um, there are so many structural um, barriers that people have to overcome. So that's mm -hmm. things like um, work, they, they would have to work uh, full time to get uh, like health benefits, for example. And then mm -hmm. maybe because they don't have the, the but maybe like they don't they can't get that full time work. They don't have the money to send their to get the, the child care for their daughter. It just goes on and on because it's, it's like an endless cycle. And I think what we were talking about with stigma before, that in order to find a solution, I think you have to change people's mentality towards people that are in poverty and people that are low in, have uh, low incomes and, or, and are on welfare. Because if you know, we have a whole society of people who look at those specific um, other people and think that, you know, if they're there for a reason, that that's their fault, then I don't think you'll ever get anywhere in terms of raising awareness or in terms of finding solutions.